All right, who's ready to talk about hopefully my new favorite crankbait rod and how this Caden 735CB hopefully is the missing crankbait rod in my lineup that I'm willing, that I hope it's gonna fill. So we're gonna do a first glance, first review on my new Caden 735CB, get you the weights, the specs, all the details on it. Uh, and then I'm gonna take it out and fish it and do an in-depth review after that. But this is gonna be a first initial thoughts review of this rod, stay tuned. All right, let's talk about this Caden 735CB. Again, this is gonna be a quick initial review we just unboxed it unbagged it just came in we will do another review later once i've fished it and give you my in-depth thoughts compare some models but cadence brand new for 2021 that came out late at the end of the year there was a beta test that gary dobbins did where he sent them out 100 of each model at a reduced rate and that was kind of a pre-launch deal so they really just started hitting the stores the consumers at the beginning of 2021 they've been unbelievably popular super hard to keep in stock uh, Dobbins as soon as they get them in they go to the retailers they sell off the website retail for $179.99 so same price point as the Sierra but slightly different models and slightly different actions compared to the Sierra so depending on what you're looking for the Caden might fit the ticket for you we'll talk about that so the Cadence feature high modulus graphite blanks C guides XO guides uh, very nice guides Fuji Real seats, uh, it's got the, the fish twin emblem built in there. It got the little accents uh, on the front and the back with the red, the matching cadence. It's a really sharp looking uh, rod and reel combo aesthetically. Uh, you got the feel through blank, uh, so it's, it's very popular. You see this this style, see this very this popular real seat on a lot of rods and reels and especially a lot of Dobbins. Kevlar wrapping, double A grade Portugal cork. Uh, most Dobbins rods come with some really high quality cork. If you're a big fan of cork, you're gonna like Dobbins rods. If you like foam, you're not going to like many of the Dobbins rods. Overall, I think the fit and finish of these rods look really great. Uh, we'll get some close detail shots up. Just the, the nice clean black with a little bit of red accents. Uh, the blank has kind of the kind of rough unsanded uh, blank up towards the top and then kind of the smooth here at the base where the graphics and the styling and, and the details of the blank and everything is written there. All right, the Caden 735CB, KD 735CB is rated for eight to 20 pound line, seven foot three, quarter ounce to one ounce, medium heavy mod fast action for crankbaits, rattlebaits, and top water. This crankbait rod came in at 4.6 ounces. It's a seven foot three, five power, but that's a crankbait five power. So it's gonna have a really moderate action. Um, we'll kind of show you here, like um, it goes way into the blank, you know, that power, like that tip is super, you know, loads up way into that. So uh, that's what you want from a crankbait rod for your reaction baits. You can see here that the power of the rod, right, goes really deep into these last couple blanks uh, when you load into it without a lot of effort. So that's what you're looking for. Uh, that allows bass, fish, walleye, whatever you're fishing to really get that reaction bait, pull it in before you set the hook, kind of slows you down on the hook set, and then that parabolic action allows the fish to kind of surge and pull on treble hooks without losing that fish. And that's why you want a softer, more moderate action for a crankbait rod. So this is my very first Caden, just got it. I bought this rod to fill a gap. I have a 705, I actually have two 704 champion crankbait, CB crankbait rods, a 705 champion crankbait rod, and a 765 crankbait champion rod, all graphite blend, I, I prefer the graphite versions over the, the fiberglass version. I just feel that I like the sensitivity. I like the way it feel, the way they rip out of grass. That's my preference. Uh, and, and so this, this Caden fits right between that 705 and that 765. What I'm hoping it will do is really throw a couple things really well. DT10s, because my 705, I just don't like the length of that. Throwing a DT10, I like a little bit longer rod. Uh, lipless crankbaits as well. Uh, the 765 does great for lipless crankbaits, but this may throw some of the smaller ones. Sometimes you want more than one tied on or multiple colors. The 705 is great for square bills. I really love it for that. I think this will also be a good square bill rod. I can see having like a, a tight to cover square bill with a 705 and then maybe more of a, a, a flats or a distance. So I just want to have a little more options in my crankbait rods and be able to double some things up and kind of fill some, some gaps in that between those two rod series. And that's what I'm really hoping to do. Uh, we'll find out more when I get on the water, how it actually fishes, how it, uh, I mean, initial thoughts, you know, the blend, the bend of this blank and how it loads. Uh, I like what I'm seeing so far. 
but we won't really know until we get it on the water and that will be in a future video. Initially, I'm gonna pair it with this older Pareto G I have. Uh, I'm gonna go with a seven to one. I'll be spooling it up with 12 pound fluorocarbon, most likely, uh, for cranking square bills. Uh, maybe some bigger jerk baits, uh, things like that. And we can check the balance point on this. It's uh, just right in front of the grip, right where you'd want it, right? Like, so if you're holding it, right on that front finger is gonna be your balance point. So that, that feels really good in hand. You know, it feels right where it should be. So I'm, I'm happy about that. If anything, you know, a crankbait rod is not the worst thing to have a slight heavier tip uh, in some cases, right? Cause you're gonna most of the time be reeling with your tip down. So uh, you definitely don't want a heavy butt on a cranking reel because then you're gonna be, it's gonna be lifting the tip when you're trying to crank it down. But overall that feels really nice. So it's gonna be with the seven to one uh, Corrado. And yeah, like, so I'm excited. So for a crankbait rod like this, looks like it has the right taper and action and that moderate blank. So I expect this to be exactly what I'm looking for, but we are gonna get it on the water. So like I said, these have been hard to find. I will put some links in the description for this rod if I can find it in stock anywhere. Uh, and anytime that comes in stocks, I'll put it in there. So if you're interested in this, I will leave some links in the description below. If you wanna see more rod and reel videos and gear videos and things like that, make sure you check out one of these videos coming up right here.